We are Venom. Yeah, turn the fan off. It's cold. <laughs> Let me start. We are Venom. Welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I, we are Stephen Corka, and we are... One. Yes, I'm going to talk in the Venom voice for the whole, for the whole show. Is that okay? No. Why? It's annoying. Poor K. That's the same question. It just sounds annoying. Uh, I understand that. But, you know, we are, we are one. We, we are Venom. We're here to talk about Venom, the movie review. Wonski, did you like it? Don't do this. I'm doing it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to play a role. Wait, what's your role? From now on, I am the mute. The mute? Well, why don't you like the Venom, the, the Venom impression? <laughs> what, 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 what? Okay, fine. I will not be Venom. You know, instead, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be Eddie Brock. Oh my god! I'm gonna, I'm gonna be Eddie Brock. With 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 my. Uh, is it New York or is it or is it or is it or is, or is it um uh a New England accent? I don't know because he was from New York, right? Uh, he worked in New York. He mentioned he worked in New York, but he also was he also was New England. <laughs> How annoyed are you right now? I'm really annoyed. Are you really? Annoyed? I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Why? Well, Wonski's had a bad, a bad morning, ladies and gentlemen. He pulled his back out yesterday, so he's feeling a little, he's feeling a little bad. We're here in the Pembroke Pine oh, store, uh, but yes, we are here to talk about Venom, the, the, the movie that just came out and got eight, got the that best. That statue is gorgeous, man. Which statue? That Wolverine Hulk. Oh, I know. Yes, yeah. Which, by the way, we sold an amazing sideshow Venom statue yesterday. Uh, sad to see it go, but happy it went to a happy owner. Uh, anyways, we're here at Corker Comics and we Pembroke Pine. We should show the statues. Um, well, maybe another time. I, I, I'm i not going to give a tour of the, 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 the store. Well, there's a lot the, of people down in Miami that might not be able to make it up here. They could take a look at some of these sideshow statues. They're really nice. They they could. They could. We're getting off topic, though, because we're here to talk about Venom. All right. Yeah, we're here to talk about Venom, the movie review for Atomic Pop. Uh, the the movie's been out about a week now. I apologize for... for that. See, kids, that's what, that's what smoking does. So, uh, you know... Florida, Florida quit. We're here to talk about Venom. Florida quit. <laughs> We're getting a little off topic. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the movie was really good. Uh, um, it, it got some bad reviews before it was even released. A lot of people said that it was because of uh, the Lady Gaga fans that were putting bad reviews online because A Star Is Born opened the same weekend as Venom. But both movies did really good, brought in a lot of money, and uh, top grossing. October release, right? Was that what they said? Yeah, for Venom. For 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 Venom. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's better than any of the Spider-Man movies that Sony did. But but it, it's not just the Lady Gaga that was giving the bad reviews. Like critics, uh, basically panned the movie. It got like a thirty-one on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, which I which just really I don't pay attention to. I mean, I look at it, but I don't care what it says. I mean. Yeah, but more often than not, I'm yeah. I'm pretty in line with with reviewers, right? Like more often than not, they you know. Uh, yeah, but you know what? Like, it, it reminds me of the days. Like, okay, so Rotten Tomatoes is like it's either rotten or it's fresh. It's like when we were younger and kids, like Cisco and Ebert, two thumbs up or right, two thumbs I, down. Right, but I don't go by the you tomato. Know? I go the the percentages are usually pretty accurate. You know, when a movie gets an eighty percent, it's an eight out of ten. Like, I, and I usually agree with it. No, but you know what? Black Panther got a hundred percent, and I was just like, nope. <laughs> you know, like, like no, but but right, it, it's yeah. but the. The divide is really big on this one, right? Because like a thirty-one yes. percent equates to being a three out of ten for that movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and no, man, I I, I would have get I give it a good seven. Yeah, it was really really fun. Well, be, I mean, before we get on our knees and suck the symbiote dick, let's talk about what was wrong with it and why critics maybe thought that it was crap. I'm just gonna say personally, like I I, I thought I thought the villain. What was underdeveloped, you know, and who was the villain? Was the villain the the corporate Elon Muskie guy? Uh, who I forget his name, but he's played by Riz Ahmed. By the way, kids, spoilers. Or is it the symbiote uh, Riot who Venom ended up fighting at the end of the movie? It's both. Yeah, um, yeah, both because villains. because they became one in the end, which was stupid. Just like the yeah. the hero of the movie is Venom and Eddie Brock. Yeah, 
Um, I, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't like that part about it. I also thought, thought it felt a lot like Ant Man taking place in San Francisco. You know, uh, you know, Eddie Brock, you know, divorced or broken up with his girlfriend, no job, basically, you know, blacklisted. Reminded me of the the feel of it was just not as funny as Ant Man, of course. Um, I, I would have chosen a different city, but whatever. They mentioned the Daily Globe and said the Daily Bugle made a couple references. If you if you want, go into this movie and you want to you want Spider Man, you're not going to get it. You want webs, you're not going to get it. You want to get the tra- the tra- traditional Venom costume, you're not going to get it. They actually didn't reference Spider Man once in this. But that's movie. not what the critics, you know, why the critics panned it. No, no. I mean, why do you think they did? Well, you know, the, as... and don't say don't say what's his name's accent, which I know well, you hated. It, as 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 like a movie, right? As a movie, it was it was terrible, right? The the way they set it up, the way it was edited, there was like a lot of jumps. It, it just wasn't well made. You know what? A lot of people complained that like the first half of the movie before Venom even showed well, up. Well, not, like, not that it's slow. It's like even 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 at the end of the movie, even we're having trouble like putting certain pieces back together. Yeah, like at the shot because the it was it it felt rushed. And slow at the same time. It was really, really bad. Like the editing is what the the critics like pan on. Yeah. Um. And just that it was just so goofy, and some of the shit just didn't make sense. And then for us personally, like the some of the comic, like it, even though we found it okay, some of the the accent was awful, Steve. I I got used to it quick. Didn't bother me. I like the Venom voice. Ven- was was Venom that voice? Tom Hardy? Uh, that'd be awesome if it was. But I don't know. But we didn't check the credits. We were dumb yeah. about that. Our faults. Um. So. Whatever. I mean, it, it's not perfect. Is it better than Spider-Man Homecoming? No. no, no, no. Is it better than, you know, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man tri- trilogy? Yeah, yeah. All of them? Um, no. No, actually, only the third one. Yeah, it's better but than the he, third one. Here's the thing. I don't think it's really fair to compare. Like, it wasn't going through. Like, all these I, movies... I, I don't think it's fair to compare, but I think audiences are going to go in wanting... That Spider Man experience, but I but I don't consider I I, I mean at, when I came out I don't even compare I don't even think about the Spider Man movies like so they I guess they did a good job disconnecting it. No, it's it feels like it's its, it's own movie in its own universe. Oh. It doesn't even feel like Spider Man exists in this world. It doesn't feel like superheroes exist in this world. You know what? If it, it feels like a like a nineteen nineties, um, comic book movie. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. Like updated special effects, like Arnold, Way Sch- Ar- Arnold, Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger could have been in that movie somewhere. You yeah, know? yeah, I'll give you that. That was good. Yeah, um, the 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 villain, the corporate villain, the the you know, he had a very Thanos you know way of doing things. Like we're 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 we're, we're raping and pillaging our world. There's no resources. We need to find somewhere else or or, or eliminate the population if we want to survive. Uh, that was his driving force. He was a man of science. Really didn't care about ethics or or human rights or anything like that. Um, and uh, but 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 the guy that played him, Riz Ahmed, I thought I thought he did a great job. I thought I thought he portrayed a sense of evil at the same time. Uh, you know, giving a sense of empathy similar to you know Thanos's character. It was just he was Elon Musk, right? That's all I'm, he did. I don't know. I, I don't know Elon Musk other than the fact that he's an entrepreneur, inventor. And, yeah, but you don't got to yeah. watch the guy. He's always talking. Yeah. He's all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like him. Well. They're the same guy. <laughs> I didn't really care for him. All right. What would you love about the movie? The action. I thought the action was well done. Action was great. You know, you know the action I didn't like was the, the, the fight between Riot and Venom at the end. I loved it. When they kept coming apart, I and, thought that was amazing. And you saw, like, their two regular guys just, like— On the insides. I thought that was awesome. It looked cool, but I just yeah, it, it looked really cool, and it was very comic booky. But yeah, but don't you think they would like? That's not get like hurt that's not you don't in that's that not process. A splash page. Yeah, but don't you think they would get hurt in that process? They probably could get hurt, but like and Eddie, they didn't. Right, Eddie Brock like cracked his fucking legs. Yes, and they got auto fixed by the symbiote. So even if they got hurt, the symbiote's probably regenerating them at the same time. Yeah. There you go, plot hole. Yeah. fail. Suck a dick. Um, I I didn't. So uh, I liked you. Actually, I I I liked um. Yes. Always. I liked, um, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. What else did you like? So I liked the action. I thought the action was cool. I thought. Action um, was good, yeah. Venom was. The, the, the voice. voice the voice, voice was, was great. Cool. And and believe it or not, I actually yeah. liked the comedy. Comedy I wasn't bad. Was really funny. Except for the I'm a loser the on I'm my planet. Yeah, yeah. If, guys, spoilers. Venom is like, oh, I like you, Brady Brock, because like you, I'm a loser on my planet. That was awful. Yeah, it was really bad. Um, 
the, the Venom suit attaching to Michelle Williams was cool, seeing female Venom, right? Uh, yeah. And then them having their little three-way kiss was cute. It looked just like it. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. What? Uh, even even down to her pose, it looked like the cover of fem- the, the female Venom. I don't know if it was on purpose here, but it, but it looked great. It looked great. exactly it, like it. It yeah. looked great. It looked great. Um, they definitely left room for a sequel. Um, well, there is going to be a sequel. What it's confirmed? No, but it has. Yeah, I mean it. It broke records. Yeah. Um. The the and of course the villain will be Carnage. You know, spoilers, kids. It's he's in the cutscene. I don't like Woody Harrelson as, and I don't uh, like that wit, red, ridiculous wig he was wearing. And Woody Harrelson is is supposedly Carnage. Uh, Woody Harrelson, great actor, just you know, not the right actor for the role. He's, I think, he's too his, old. His dad is a serial killer. Well, besides that, but but you know, and he was he he played an awesome role in Oliver Stone's Natural Born Killers. He really did put yeah, up. But he was younger. Yeah, he was like, like thirty years younger. Yeah, like the Cletus, who is the human being in the Carnage uh, symbiote. Uh, in the comics is is a guy easily in his 20s, may, maybe early 30s, super skinny and lanky and batshit crazy. And that's just not Woody Harrelson, you know? Um, I'm not going to hate on them for, you know, trying to put um, a, a more recognizable name behind the character, um, especially someone with, with a history of playing psychotics. Um, so I, I think I think people will... will, will yeah, I wish they would have gone younger, though. I, I would have gone for a no name, you know. Show it something. So, someone said yeah, ca- Carnage. Someone said Carrot Top at the shop, which I thought no. I thought I thought would have been an interesting choice because no, Car- that would have been terrible. Because first of all, Carrot Top is not funny, but he is insane. But yeah. he's really old. Um, he's older too. And yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought Woody Harrelson looked like Kyle Barflosky when he's not wearing his green hat. Yeah, yeah. Like that's that's a good example. Like big round head with a big poofy. They're they're just and, and you think that they're just Sony's gonna just not explain how Carnage came to be right? I I don't know. In the comic books, kids, uh, a piece of venom goes off of you it know mixes with the blood and, and of... mixes with the blood and becomes Carnage, and it makes no sense whatsoever. And right. if they do that in, in the movie, that will make no sense either. Um, they're just gonna have him as his own symbiote that came as well, right? I hope so. I hope they do something that makes a little more sense than that. Um, What's Sony? The Avi Arad is the producer of this movie. One of them. He's also one of the producers of the original Spider-Man '90s cartoon. He's also one of the founders of Toy Biz, the, the, the action figures that Marvel did, the X-Men action figures. So he's the driver. Toy Biz force. was awesome. Yeah, Toy Biz was awesome. He's the drive. He and he's been behind the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans. He's been behind the the was it Mark Webb Spider-Mans, the Amazing Spider-Mans. I don't know. I hated those, so I didn't really. Uh, and and you know he's behind Homecoming, uh, paired with Kevin Feige, of course. And so he's also <laughs> behind Venom and uh, the Spider-Man verse. You know, it's already confirmed that uh, Morbius is coming, and and uh, what's his name is going to be Morbius, Joker. Right. What's his name? Jared Leto. Ja- Jared Leto is going to be Morbius. They talked about a Silver Sable movie, so they're really diving into like a lot of these B characters. Um, that are just not, you know, frontliners, with the exception of Venom, of course. And then, of course, we have Spider-Man: Far From Home. Uh, it, are they going to tie these together? I don't know. You, you think they will? I mean, that was a. I mean, for us, the, in you know, that read comics, right? That was like glaring, right? The the whole reasoning for Venom to stay. And in the movie, it was explained as he's like, oh, I really kind of like this place. I'm like, what does he like about like trees, like flying kites? It's fucking stupid. Yeah, it was dumb. Yeah. So like without without the motivation without Spider-Man and then Eddie Brock's motivation without Peter Parker also was kind of just so I, I hope that they eventually tie in the Spider-Man just because it, it'll to make sense. Here's the thing too, Venom. It, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, it doesn't. And Venom has spent more of his comics career as a villain than a hero and in this movie he's a straight hero he, yeah. he's your anti-hero but still he's a he's a hero and i don't think eddie brock's ever gonna be evil like like the no, venom never. that we came to know yeah. and love in in the in the 90s um he's going to be more like the flash thompson ven- venom uh you know what was really off yeah. like i know there it's a joke but like when he was eating people yeah and they're like joking about it and trying to make like it's an okay thing for heroes like i know it didn't hit with me yeah, no, no. I'm never gonna believe that eating someone's cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, easy stance. <laughs> um, I disagree. Eating people is fine. Yeah, and uh, it was funny though when they went in the restaurant and he was eating. He's like dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because like I guess you know the symbiote needs live. Do you like Venom as a hero? No. 
Yeah. I wish he was a villain. I wish I wish I wish this was a villain movie. Right. You know? That was just straight evil, you know. But whatever. I wish the movie was rated R. Um they, they it wouldn't could've... have done eighty million. It probably not, but 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 it would have been way better and way way more close to the source material on the character. Um but whatever, it is what it is. That's Venom, uh Sony's next attempt. I mean, if they do bring Spider Man into the verse, is it Tom Holland? <laughs> And and the MCU Spider Man that I we mean seen. that would be the smart thing, right? That would be the smart thing, but the but the question is is can you know is Sony allowed to do that? You know, and how does Disney feel about that? Does it even matter? But Disney's gonna have to take it, yeah. Because at the end, Sony still has the rights to Spider Man. This isn't like the Fox deal, right? No. So like Sony still has Spider Man. So if Sony wanted to, they could really throw a wrench in Marvel's like finish out the contract, and then be like you know, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's in their contract. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, Sony went to, like, Warner Brothers and they're like, hey, let's put a Spider-Man and Suicide Squad. <laughs> right. yeah, we want James Gunn to do, like, Adam in there. <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine James Gunn doing a Spider-Man movie? Uh, that'd be great. It would be great. James Gunn's going to do Suicide Squad. Oh. Yeah, and I think that, that's fantastic. It's fantastic. Drax just said, sign me up. Did he really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, he said if they don't use a script, he wants out of the next uh, Guardians. Oh, my God. So he basically tweeted out, sign me up, and there's been, I, I just read an article on a GameSpot, and uh, there was, they were suggesting that Drax would be great for King Shark. Ah, that would be good. Yeah, we're way off topic, kids. Uh, Venom, Venom is the movie. Don't listen to the critics. Go see it. Yeah, it was really good, guys. Go see the movie. Support the movie. Uh, uh, even if the movie is bad, go see these movies, because uh, without the ticket sales, we don't have the movies, and we need the sales. So, um... For uh, Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corka. Juan Farage. Make sure you come visit our three stores. We have one in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just east University, the one we're in right now. Uh, we have our other one down in Miami on 107th and 8th across from FIU. And our newest location in Coral Gables on Lejeune Road, just off US 1, next to Havana Harriers across from the shops at Merrick Park. So check us out there. Subscribe, like, share. Uh, Atomic Pop, uh, uh, Corker Comics on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll talk to you later.